Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. We're going to attempt a little experiment today. It's something that you usually have at your house. So um, I thought it would be kind of fun. I saw it and I thought, oh, I gotta do this for you guys. So what you need is you're gonna need two cups. I just had jars available. Um, and you wanna put water in them. That's what these are, water. You're going to need markers and pretty much the rainbow. You just need these colors, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Roy G. Biff, okay? You're gonna need scissors. And um, there's, you might have to experiment a little bit with this. I had to before I did this of how to hold this on. I tried the back of my chair with a uh, baggie on it. Eh, it kind of worked. And then I, I put a ruler in my cup, and this worked the best. So um, you'll see what I'm talking about. And you're going to need a paper towel. Now, this is a half a paper towel. And the reason it's half is mine come this way, but you can cut one in half if you don't already have a half. And I did this because I tried a whole big paper towel and it kind of worked, but it didn't go all the way up. So I went to a half a sheet, okay? So in order to do this, you're gonna take your paper towel, you're gonna fold it in half, kind of like a hot dog and you're going to cut, you're going to cut, and I had an example here, like a little rainbow out of it. It's gonna look like this when you open it. Make sure you stay on the folded lines is where you're gonna open it, okay? I made that mistake, just so you know. So I just cut out a little piece here, and I'll show you real quick. Um, I kinda started at the top and I just cut around and then I cut around on this side to make a rainbow, okay? Oops, I didn't finish cutting that one. Here we go, and it comes out, and it looks like this, okay? Then you're gonna take this, and let's see if I can get it to there. You're gonna take this, and you're gonna take your markers, and you're gonna start with red, and you're going to make a pretty long line and you're just gonna use the side of your marker and make a line. And you're gonna, oh wait, I didn't do the other side. You do this side and then you wanna go to the opposite side and do it on this one. So your red goes on the outer edges, just like that, okay? Then I'm going to use orange just like this, and I use it a few times so that it gets good color on there, okay? And then I'm going to do yellow. And then green. Blue. and then purple or violet, okay? All right, so we have our finished product here. See what that looks like. And I'm gonna bring this over, kinda like this. And I am going to take my, you can use a paper clip, you can use a clip of any kind, anything you have really that you've got, that'll work, okay? Then I'm going to bring my water and I'm gonna put the ends of it and we're gonna grow a rainbow, I hope, okay? When I put these down in my water, well, they're not down in there far enough yet, okay? The water soaks up and you can kind of see that my water is changing. Let me move a little bit. Maybe you can see it better. My water's kind of changing colors. My color's going down into it. There's a little bit of green in that one. And you can really see it if you look like this. See it going down in there? 
and it's growing a rainbow. See how the colors are coming up? This is gonna take a few minutes. This is kind of what, <laughs> it kind of washes out the bottom, but it kind of grows into a rainbow at the top. And you can see it coming up. This is what it looked like at the beginning. And now look at it, it's growing. It's kind of cool to see your colors mix together and form a pretty, pretty rainbow. You can finish this on your own at home. I just thought it was a fun activity you could do. If you do do it, please, please, please send me a picture of your finished rainbow or while you're doing it. I think it's kind of fun. I want everybody to have a great day. Bye-bye.